What's up, nerdlings? What's hey. up, nerdlings? You got mail. In mail! Hey, nerdlings, Chris, the old ass retro gamer here, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Well, do you? Seriously, you guys, people keep sending us stuff. We do, uh, we do make some deals on the side, of course, but uh, I feel like it's just constant packages, and they're not even from Amazon, so I know that they're not all her buying stuff. Just saying. Um, first of all, pretty sure I know what this is. Chris Pico, the old ass retro gamer himself, had a little something that he found. He said he had a duplicate, so he wanted to send it our way, and I'm like, all right, okay, sounds good to me. Okay, first of all. Oh, wrap. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. That's like fireworks. So here we have a boxed copy of Space Cavern for the Atari 2600. And it is sealed, though that plastic is uh, coming off of here. And I'm not entirely sure if this would have been the original plastic or not. There's a price tag on the side here. Zayer. Huh, $2.99. Oh. I will double check the list. I'm pretty sure we have a copy cart only of Space Cavern, but being able to have it in the box, of course, with the manual and all that good yes. stuff is very awesome. I really am digging this artwork here. Look at that uh, alien dinosaur, I guess. He's like getting zapped like he's getting zapped by a Dalek. It does look like that. Oh my gosh. Daleks do not joke, and I do not surrender now, Space Cavern is one of those uh, kind of like a, a shooter game. You're on the bottom of the screen shooting at the aliens coming in from the top. I do remember the character kind of looks like, to me, Space Ghost. So basically just... And there's a ghost on the cover. Uh, there you go. Space Ghost, the game. They had to change it to Space Cavern because of licensing Did issues. George Lowe um, voice it? That's, oh, that'd be amazing. Although, could you imagine George Lowe's... Epic voice having to be scaled down to the Atari. That would be a crime. We all nerd, do we not? <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. Obviously, links to all the wonderful people sending us mail will be in the description below. So go check out the old ass retro gamer. That guy finds like freaking games all the time. I get a little mad. I mean, jealous. <laughs> no, I'm not mad. Next up is a box from Patrick at Show Me Retro. Now, we got to spend some time with him at Mo Game Con, and not only did we get some time playing games and everything with him, you got to introduce him to a new shot. I did. I got to, to introduce him to Lady Lacey's famous peanut butter and jelly shot. He liked that, too. Yes, I remember he did. when he drank it, he kind of had that pause. It be finishes that. really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, he hooked me up with the Zelda game watch yep. not the game and watch but the game watch like what you'd wear on your wrist and tell the teacher no i'm just looking at the time i'm not trying to defeat ganon the <laughs> three o'clock hurry up <laughs> now this was a surprise by the way we yeah, weren't no, expecting anything well Someone told me he was asking for our address, but I mean, he didn't say he had stuff to send us. I'm just happy he spelled my name right. Look at that. He did spell it right. Hey, Tom and Lacey, here are a few items left over from my vendor table at Mo Game Con. By the way, if you guys ever get a chance to go to Mo Game Con, hit up his table. He always has he some have really, some really cool stuff. I thought you might like them. If you already have them, feel free to pass them on to someone else that may want them. A super generous and, you know, kind of what the whole community is about. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, if you got this, send it on, get it into the hands, right hands. Can't wait to see you guys again, hopefully before Mo Game Con 2023, definitely. If you're ever in town, please don't hesitate to give me a holler. Take care, neighbors. <laughs> he sides it and he says, by the way, the Atari games just need to be tested to figure out which label goes on each. I didn't have a way of testing. Okay, okay. Curious. Ooh, hey. Hey, Yoda! How cute! That's what he oh, was doing in oh, the movie. Wow. Ooh, there's some more. Wow, look at nice. this. First of all, how impressive is it that... Oh, wait, he's fighting the himself. The characters with Ooh, lightsabers. I just had himself fight himself. 
How impressive is it, though, that they still have their yeah. lightsabers? Uh, even when we first encountered these, I was always surprised that the plastic was a more malleable plastic. Yeah. Like, to give a little more than what it does. Force choke yourself. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Liar! Let her go, Anakin. Uh, 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 harder, honey. Uh, what? Huh? Oh, uh, um, I mean... Annie, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> also, Disney Infinity. Did anyone play that game and what were your thoughts on it? You were super excited when it came out because you liked the idea of it being the sandbox world where you could play mm -hmm. as different characters in different worlds. Until that didn't wasn't the case. It didn't ultimately feel like <laughs> no, that. No, yeah. because basically I thought Disney Infinity was going to be one of those things where I could pick whatever character I want and then load up a level and play as that character. So like I could be Elsa running around the Death Star. But that's the only time you get to play as multiple characters is in the sandbox where you can just kind of build some things, um, but not playing a level as the character, which is what I was hoping it would be. You could only play the actual characters in the actual levels. Definitely felt like a missed opportunity mm -hmm. with that. The characters were a lot of fun to collect, though, because mm -hmm. not only They're did you have stylized. Star Wars... But you had uh, some great Marvel characters. And then some just those classic really cool. Disney characters, too. Yeah, and you liked collecting some of those just mm -hmm. because of how cool they looked. You know, yeah. I mean, everything from, like, Fantasia to Maleficent. Mm -hmm. You know, so, like, a nice range of characters. Yep. Also, the Disney Infinity collection. Stopped. Yeah, it was finite. So you could collect that, unlike Amiibo. Yeah. Look at my eye twitching. No. Eventually, we're just gonna have amiibo. to decide we're just gonna collect what we want <sighs> instead of just like keep it. going. The line must be drawn here. This far, no farther. So, here are the Atari games he must have been talking about. Okay, I see. <laughs> so, you have the cartridges, which are blank, but then you have three labels. So, that's what he meant. You basically just have to. Put them in, figure out which game is which to put the proper label on. Well, maybe on Sherry should have kept her labels on her games. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sherry, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> it does look like we've got Sequest, Stampede, and a Spider Fighter. I you, don't like that one. You usually call me in to be the Spider We're Fighter. We would just get rid of that one. <laughs> and Sequest was one of my favorite TV shows, so this will be good. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's exactly like the TV show. I really like Jonathan Brandis. I have always liked picking up cartridges that don't have a label and, and having that mystery element because we've done that before with Atari games, but with also some Intellivision games. Mm -hmm. It's like, ooh, what could the game be? I Is this something think, good? I actually did have uh, Sequest when I was a kid, though. On Atari? Yeah. Oh. I right, something new every day. We got a Game Boy manual, so how are you going to pronounce that? Kicks. Kicks, not quicks. Kicks. Kicks. I don't know. Oh, fun. You like getting these. Yes. The uh, Nintendo 64 Pocket Power Guide Volume 3. So Pocket Power. Why? Well, that's not even... Well, I'll be damned. They do fit in the pocket. Did you check your pocket? It was, it was in my pocket. Yeah, any of the old school literature from guidebooks to tip books like this, love collecting these because, I mean, what a fantastic piece of history. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with the internet, you don't need stuff like this anymore, which is why you really don't see stuff like that. But back in the day, I mean, imagine the excitement of yeah. seeing this at the store. You know, may maybe you were one of those jerk kids who, like, you, you were broke and didn't have the money. And so you just, you know, like, like peeped through. It's like, oh, I try to get some secrets. I can't afford this, but uh, I, I need some secrets for Mario Kart 64. What, what have we got in here? Ooh, man, look at all the stars in here for Mario 64. Plus, these are actually in pretty good yeah, shape, they are in really too. Good shape. So whoever had them in their pocket was taking good care of them. They had big pockets. Uh, like, like me. <laughs> well, I mean, that was the 90s, so you had like the, the pockets, skater pockets that could fit like a, a discman in there anyway, and, yeah. and your skateboard and your, yeah. you know, little brother who you had to be watching anyway. And here we have Final Fantasy XI. This is online. 
And what I like about this is it looks like this comes with all of the additions. Ooh, so Rise yes. of the Zillard, Chains of Promathia, and Treasures of... <laughs> it's totally how you say that. It's not speaking English. Oh, it's got all of the oh stuff my. in here too. So you've got your cards with your codes. Nice, and a Target receipt. So this was $39.99 plus tax. You've got your manual, ooh, the controls and commands. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is an unused Xbox Live membership card. So, you know, we can get online with our Xbox 360. What kind of community, online community, does Eleven have? I can never remember which games are still being supported online. I but I know that some of them sometimes have those world ending events. I feel like maybe 14 had something like that happen where like they ended the world, but then started it anew or something. Oh my. <laughs> Regardless, hey, it's a Final Fantasy game in the collection. And the last thing in the box looks to be a poster. Super Monkey Ball! So, step and roll. Oh, this is on the Wii. I like Super Monkey Ball. Really? Mm -hmm. I feel like this is one of those games that would drive you nuts. Well, I'm terrible at it, and I just like to throw my monkey all over the place. What? <laughs> Check out the back. Nice. Sonic All-Star Racing. Now, I don't know if this is the like, same one. Monkey Man! But look at those ears. He's got like giant cinnamon rolls. I think he didn't he was trying to do the Princess Leia look with the buns, honey buns on his ears, but he put them on this way instead of this way. <laughs> Pretty sure that Sega Head is quite the fan of the Sonic All Stars racing games. I don't know which one he likes to play the most. Gay gay? It is. Look at you with the good eye. I like this. Alright. Well this fun is some stuff. fun stuff. Thank you, Patrick. Yes. So well, real quick shout out to Patrick. One of the things that I really like about his channel, and he does this kind of frequently, is he goes to Hobby Lobby and shows off all of the cool stuff that you can get for your game room, your mm -hmm. collection areas and everything. Because fun stuff there. you don't think about Hobby Lobby when you start thinking of like comic book collectibles or video game yeah. collectibles. But think they, of more crafting stuff. Yeah, they have some great wall art pieces, uh, some lenticular stuff that's yes. always really cool. So check those videos out and maybe check out your Hobby Lobby, but more importantly, just check out the channel. Show me retro. Kind of did a little bit, little bit of cap. So did YouTube win again? We are winners. We are winners. YouTube is YouTube the Raiders. YouTube is yeah. the shit. Okay, the last box. Well, that name seems to be the one, the only... Salty Bandana Gamer. <laughs> Now, were you expecting anything from Bandana? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> that just goes to show you send this stuff too often, Bandana. We don't even know. Well, we talk to him almost on a daily basis in polos. So it's one of those things that it's like, he could have said he was sending us something and it was, you know, we forgot. <laughs> oh, oh I do remember this now. <laughs> okay, first of all. I do remember this. Check out. The fantastic, nice. as you said, salty, salty bandana, bandana one year anniversary. Uh, oh, <laughs> look at the spines. Read the spines. No umbrellas. He hates his umbrellas. Gabo Deceiver. <laughs> no arcade stick. So no one but us is going to get this. <laughs> and they are that done in the Tingen yes. art style of uh, of box art. So fun little fact there. Chris over at Video Game Dust Sleeves, I sent him the Tingen box to kind of get him started mm -hmm. making some of these. And honestly, I love using the dust covers. I mean, just in general oh, for yeah. the games to protect them. But they work so well for the Tingen carts because the way that they sit on the shelves, it's not always easy to yeah. see their end labels. But those are So great. I do remember this now. He was cleaning out um, his game room and everything and had asked if we were lacking any DVDs that he was wanting to get rid of. And surprisingly enough, there were some Doctor Who um, sets that we didn't have because I, I think we we kind of got behind on collecting like when Capaldi came around. Um, we loved Capaldi, but I guess we just kind of like missed when his DVDs came out. So that's what he was doing. He was sending us um, the backups that we hadn't got yet. Yeah. So thank you yes, very thank you much so for much. that. 
One last thing is a copy of Cathedral from Premium Edition Games. Now, this game looks amazing. Uh, getting a lot of strong Castlevania meets Ghosts and Goblins vibes from this. Anything that has that dark, gothic art yeah. style to it. I mean, you're usually a fan of anyway. Oh yeah, totally. So, and you know, can't really go wrong with premium edition games. So that, wow, that's a... Fun stuff. Yeah, holy cow. Um, I didn't realize we were so behind on Doctor Who. Shame, shame on us. Shame, 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 shame on you. Bandana, thank you so much. Your Doctor Who's in a good home, as well as a Cathedral and the Salty Bandana Sleeves. We will not use them around any umbrellas. We will not deceive you with promises of an arcade stick that either. That we take away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, one last time, please hit those links down in the description below. Check out everyone. Chris Pico, the old ass retro gamer, thank you so much for the Atari Space Cavern game. Pat of Show Me Retro, thank you so much for all the great things, the books, the games, the Disney Infinity figures, and of course, Bandana Gamer, thank you for Cathedral of the Sleeves and so much Doctor Who. That's like a whole regeneration's worth right there. <laughs> all right, well, please give the video a like. Comment down below about any of this stuff. Come on, let's, let's hear from our hooligans out there. Let's hear some Whovian fandoms. Yeah. You know, talk to us. And don't forget, of course, to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it. Breaking the seal. Doesn't smell as salty as I expected. <laughs> Is needs it, more is it, tears. Is it sea salt or kosher salt? <laughs> <laughs> By nerdlings. By nerdlings. <laughs> Where you open it? That's like how my dad wraps presents. Just cover it in tape. Jeez, how are you supposed to get in that thing? He didn't want anybody to steal it. <laughs> okay, it's dead. I believe this was his first time trying one of your lovely. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Where is your bread? All right, ready. <laughs> if you hear, can hear the crickets in there and be like, "Don't mind the dragon food making noise." Uh, yeah. That felt kind of weird. I wasn't quite sure where I was going with that, but we got there. Don't point a gun at me. That's rude. Yes. Yeah.